Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I got some breaking news, but uh, I don't know how reliable this is, but just in case that it is, but it probably is reliable because I know that there is foreign troops in the United States because there was um, Russian troops in the state of Colorado, and I think there's Chinese troops at the Mexican borders and some other stuff. Cause I was talking to a friend yesterday she's just scared she's literally well I was laughing about it cuz but it's not funny in a way because she was thinking of taking off to the mountains because things are about to get really hot so uh, I just want to read this article to you and I believe it's true because this is part of the the global elitist global agenda plan is for the global takeover because uh, basically what they're doing is they're ushering in their uh, new world order for, for those of you that know <laughs> so uh, but for us Christians we don't have to worry about this because the Bible clearly states that God has not appointed us to wrath and the great tribulation for those of you that know scriptures, it's a time of the pouring out of God's judgment upon a rebellious world, upon a Christ-rejected world. But all these signs that we're seeing are just laying the groundwork. They're getting prepared for the Great Tribulation, for the arrival of the Antichrist. And the scripture is clear that the Antichrist cannot be revealed until the restrainer is taken out of the way. So anyways, I just want to read this to you guys and... Uh, that's all I want to say is this. I just wanted to bring this in the open, and I just want to uh, read it. But I believe this could be true, because uh, what they're they're planning is because what their main goal is they they want to confiscate the firearms of the American people, and you know this is going to cause lots of trouble, because many people actually said that they may be coming to my house, but they won't be leaving. They'll be checking in, but they will not be leaving. Like, I saw comments on Facebook, things that people said that bullets are going to fly at them if they come to my house. So this is going to start another revolution. But that's exactly what they want, because they don't care. They want to bring the United States down, and it's actually in their own article from the CFR, which is the Council on Foreign Relations, the same uh, shadow group that's pushing for a world order. They said, we're going to have a world order, Either way, even if we have to pay for it in blood. Now, what does that mean? Even if we have to kill, we're going to have it either way. Even James Warburg said, we shall have world government, rather we like it or not, but the question is either by consent or by conquest. But anyways, I want to read this to you. This is what it says. Foreign troops are landing by the plane loads. Plane loads. That's a lot of foreign troops coming in. This is scary stuff, ladies and gentlemen, okay? This is just scary stuff. For my brothers and sisters in Christ, do not fear. Trust in the Lord, regardless of what happens, okay? Just trust in God. He is our refuge. He is our strong tower. He is our shelter at all times. I'm just thinking. This is powerful stuff here. But I'm going to read the whole thing, okay? Foreign troops are landing by the plane loads all across the country. So many that... It can't only mean one thing. Surrender to the UN. Yeah. <sighs> Surrender to the UN. And then uh, here's the article. Okay, here it is. High alert. I'm getting, I'm getting cell phone calls that there are huge transport jets landing in West Virginia. Jackville. FL, I don't know what that means, FL, and it says camp, uh, uh, at Temberley, and possibly others, please post if you are seeing similar heavenly air traffic in your area. It appears we have a UN invasion developing, just had a phone call from a man in Jack, Jack, Jacksonville, Florida, who lives right on the flight path of the NAVAL, Novel Air 
Association, there who advised that starting early yesterday morning, there has been a constant flow of huge unmarked military transport planes landing non-stop since he thinks they are C-130s and C-117s. Also, he said he's never in all the years there seems more than a dozen per day. These jets are the silver and plain no tail mark line mark lines. Do we have any here who can add to this? <laughs> I had several high level mental members call me with until confirmed on UN soldiers being flowed into India on 130s and C-17 begin to U.S. Army name types and ranks and being put under order of DHS on top of that multitude armed sweat the SWAT rides being led by IRS and self multiple people taken Texas, Florida, Michigan, and George and Georgia. <laughs> when soldiers asked about incoming flights, they are told you did not see what you thought you saw. CC from, and it gives the the things. Okay. So you see that. You did not see what you thought you saw? No. I. You know what you saw. You see, ladies and gentlemen, troops are coming into the United States from foreign countries by the thousands. Who knows? Maybe by the millions. Because they're going to take the guns. And like the guy said, they want to uh, surrender to the United Nations. This is literally insane. But, you know, this is part of their plan. This is part of their plan. They want to destroy America completely because America is the only thing right now that is holding them from having a world government. So they have to destroy the sovereignty of the United States. Because the, the, it's called the World, yeah, the world Trade Organization, the WTO, which is the World Trade Organization. They want to destroy Canada and the United States national sovereignty but not just Canada and the US but the whole entire world they want to bring the whole entire world into a one world uh, government and this is Bible prophecy being fulfilled because the Bible tells us that a world government is coming <laughs> that's the rise of the Antichrist that every all the military and police all of authorities will be under his control he will be the anti this one world leader, which will be the Antichrist. He'll become the most powerful man in the history of the world that no one has ever known of such a man like this. Everyone's going to be under his control. That's why the military and all that they're bringing in martial law. So this is all I wanted to say, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So I just wanted to sound this high red alert. Like I was talking to my friend yesterday, and uh, she's scared because she, she's seeing it coming at her, you know. But like I said, we don't have to worry in Christ because I'm looking for Jesus Christ. All these signs are just, they're right before our eyes. The Lord has been compressing it upon me that he's coming. He's given me an urgency that I've never, ever, ever felt ever before in my life. <laughs> so... And plus all the other things that he's shown me. And plus of all the prophecies that are being fulfilled. So uh, this is exactly what they want. They're setting up a one world government. And they're going to have a one world currency. One world religion. You name it. Everything's going to be one. They're going to unite the world. So... So this is all I wanted to say for my brothers and sisters in Christ. Just be ready to meet the Lord. And regardless of what happens, just trust in God because, you know, 
it's crazy. Like, the, the stuff that Obama's doing, he doesn't want to take the blame for anything, but you know, he's caused lots of destruction. He's done lots of crimes. You know what? He's invading countries. He's killing, he's killing innocent people by the drones. You name it. He's doing so many things. <laughs> and yet, people don't want to people don't want to acknowledge it, but you cannot deny the facts. You cannot deny the facts. Because the government wants to, uh, what's it called? Yeah, they want to tax the churches. They want to start taxing the churches. They want to tax the rich and everything. So whoever's listening to this right now, I want to say this clear as it can be. If you can, don't pay taxes, okay? Don't pay tax. Yes, I know Jesus said, give unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's and the things that are God's that are God's. But you know, maybe he was talking about a godly government. I don't know. Because you know, you can't partake in evil. Because all your, all your, your tax money, you know what your, your tax money is going towards? It's going towards abortion clinics. It's going towards funding terrorists. Because the United States government funded the Al-Qaeda. They sponsored them. President uh, Bush, he was best friends with the Bin Laden. He gave them the weapons, he gave them everything. And yet they're trying to say they took out Bin Laden. No. They didn't take out Bin Laden, people. People, you are being lied to by your government. This is all propaganda. It's all about a new world order. 9-11 was not a terrorist attack. 9-11 was an act to bring in a new world order so they can destroy the sovereignty of the United States, so they can usher in martial law, a global police state. Because look at ever since 9-11 happened, now they have the DHS, you go to the airport, they have to patch you down, they have to search you, and they're passing all these levitations or they can wiretap your house and listen to every telephone conversation. They can go into emails and everything. <laughs> Everything's being monitored and tracked. They create a crisis, so they come up with a solution. So people go into submission to the government. We'll give up our freedoms. We'll give up our rights. We'll give up our sovereignty for security. So they create a crisis. So they say, oh, we need a more powerful military. We need more surveillance systems. And this and, and, the, and, the, and the end goes on. This is called a problem, reaction, solution. There's nothing new about it. You go all the way back in history. They've done the same thing. Nero burned down Rome, and he blamed it on the Christians. Hitler burned down his rage day, and he blamed it on the British. I think it was the British or it was someone else. So that he can create a powerful uh, police state martial law. He confiscated the firearms of the German people. And then he killed them. And the list goes on. Like Even the Oklahoma uh, bombing was staged by the government, because there was a militia movement going on there. And there was a guy that was paged not to go into work that morning, like, I can go on, ladies and gentlemen. This is about a new world order and about the wars that are going on. It's not about war. They're fighting over globalism, a financial system. Because very soon the United States dollar is just going to collapse. That's what's happening. <laughs> the world's financial system is going to collapse. And they're going to usher in the new world order by a world crisis. Because even David Rockefeller, I think, was in 1994 or was it 1995 at the United Nations? I forget what year it was, but he said, We are on the verge of a global transformation. All that we need is a major crisis, and the nations will accept the New World Order. David Rockefeller. They give no bones about it. They're setting up a world order. Because even in one of his other things, so many people think we're part of a, a shadow society or a group if you want to call it one world, I'm proud of it and I'm guilty. He doesn't care. That's what he wants. The mega bankers are setting up a global government. And this is exactly what they're doing. They don't care about humanity. All that they care about is global control, global population control, global power. They want to control the citizens of the globe by setting up this huge prison planet, which is a world government. Well, this is all I got to say. I just wanted to sound this alert. And uh, for my brothers and sisters in Christ, remember what your trust is in. It's in Jesus Christ. Do not fear man. Fear God. And this is all I got to say. And God bless.